Hi everyone, I'm Gabriel Zamora, and thank you so much for watching. Hi everyone, good morning everyone. So today's video, I'm still in my pajamas. Oh my God, we're doing my morning skincare routine. A lot of y'all have been requesting that I do an updated kind of skincare routine, and my last one was my nighttime skincare routine, where I strip makeup off and I remove makeup. So during the day, my skincare is pretty much different. Like at least half of it is different than my nighttime skincare routine, and even my old old nighttime skincare routine. I've updated since then. In this video, this is my morning skincare routine. What I do every morning when I wake up because look, we're in bed. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Oh my God, wait, when was the last time you saw me? Oh, last time you saw me was in my old closet. Oh, I moved girl. She's moved in. Hi everyone. She's in her new place, everyone. So without further ado, let's get ready in the morning together. Hi everyone. Okay, so let's begin. Here we are in my bedroom. We could take it to my bathroom, but there's no real like natural lighting in there. My bathroom has like no windows. Okay, so my new place. I miss my old closet. I'm not even gonna lie. I do like low-key live for my new one because my bedroom connects to my closet, which connects to the bathroom, which is like very Carrie Bradshaw. Like if you've watched Sex in the City, like I live every time I look, I'm like, I feel like I should do like a get ready with me and we can talk about like Sex in the City. Do any of you like Sex in the City? Like, I live for Sex in the City, so if you like Sex in the City and you want to see, like, a video where we, like, just get ready, let me know down below. What am I wearing? Oh, I'm wearing Savage Fenty. I saw this on ASOS, but it was for, like, women. This is, like, a women's one, but I, like, low-key lift because it's, like, pants, too. I don't wear this when I go to sleep. I literally just wear, like, a t-shirt and shorts and, like, like, sleeping shorts. You know what? Before I even, like, really jump into it, this is my skincare routine, Okay. This is my skincare routine. I don't go to a dermatologist, which I should go to because I should. Like, I should start going to spas more. I just, like, don't like leaving my place. <laughs> you guys, like, I'm telling you, like, I just moved into a new place and this is where I'm splurging on myself. I'm not always buying, like, designer pieces. I still drive a f***ing Fiat. But my view is cute. None of this has been advised to me, okay? This is all just trial and error, like reading reviews on products, testing out products, getting now products sent to me as a, am I a skincare influencer? Oh, she's lifestyle now. Oh my God, look, I'm lifestyle. We're just living in my, we're, we're living in my bedroom. <laughs> so this is my skincare routine. I haven't had a professional. I'm gonna try to do that. So this isn't like pro advice. This is just what's worked for my skin to get me from very oily, acne prone skin to now clear, like no more hyperpigmentation. I don't have like marks anymore. Last time I got like a facial was like two years ago. And even then before then, like I think I've only had like two facials in my life. I know, I know, I need to get more, okay? I just like, I don't know, I get scared. Yeah, this is just what works for me. If any of this works for you, yes. That is the whole purpose of this video. Y'all ask me for skincare. It's so, uh, to me, sometimes skincare is so personal because it's like everything I've picked because it works with my skin. So if you want to try it and it works for you, that's my only goal. I feel like I finesse my skin really well without having to go to a professional, without having to overly break the bank. When it comes to anti-aging stuff, that's where I'm going to get more expensive. But when it comes to like anti-acne and like making sure I'm cleansing my skin and taking care of my skin, those are relatively in like the medium, not too pricey range. If you do have advice though, like if you're like, hey, maybe you should switch this step or maybe you should use this product. If y'all have like skincare product recommendations, please leave them down below. I love skincare. I love skincare. I'm obsessed with skincare. I have way too much skincare. I have like hella skincare. Like I love Skincare. If you're a real, like, true skincare lover, you'll understand that not everything works the same on everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> not everything works the same on everyone. Hi, everyone. Like, it's not going to, everybody's skin is different. Everybody's, like, water intake is different. Everybody's nutrition is different. I drink a lot of water, too, because I decided to invest in, like, buying smart waters because I was like, oh, yo, that's, like, pricey. That's fancy. But it'll, like, force me to, like, drink it more because it's, like, you bro. Why are you letting that go to waste? Drink your water. Like, that's pricey. And I'm like, okay. So then I drink it. So I tend to like drink more water that way. I like trick myself into it. Look, smart water. Not sponsored. I have like just always a bottle there just in case I wake up like coughing or something. I don't know. I'm like scared that I'm gonna like die in my bed <laughs> from like a dry throw. Like, I'm just gonna wake up like. <laughs> No, that's not gonna happen. So I have like a safety water there. So skincare, let's dive into it. So when I shave Philips Norelco Series 5000, yeah, this is what I used to shave. Bella's, ladies, lady? 
I mean, no judgment. Cleanser. This is the Philosophy Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. I've been using this for a very long time. Like since Houston, since I lived in Houston, my friend Rosen Ben, she got me into philosophy because she has beautiful skin. Oh my God, her skin is stunning. It's like her makeup goes on it like Butter. Oh my god, your skin is so beautiful. Like, what do you use? She's like, oh my god, I love philosophy. So then I started to use a lot of their products, and this has become a staple in my skincare. Like, it's my go-to facial cleanser. Like, this just really takes everything off, but really gently. I think that's what's, like, what makes it, to me, the best. The other one that I relate to this is probably, like, a Cetaphil. The Cetaphil kind of, like, strips a little bit of the oil more. Love Cetaphil, to me, feels like it's stripping my oil away more, which then is making your skin think that like it has to overproduce oil. This pump thing doesn't come with it. I don't know where I got this pump. I just like stole it because it has like, it's like a squeeze bottle and I don't like that. Like I know what I want and this is my go-to. I have it right next to my sink and Girl, I'm not obsessed with it that I was like, no, I need like a pump. Like, I need a pumper. Another cleanser that I do like to use, Ofra Foaming Vitamin C Cleanser. Looks like this. Actually, I've never really tried a vitamin C cleanser. This is like the first one. I like vitamin C because it helps with discoloration. So if you get a lot of like pimples and you get like manchas and like dark marks, this will really help just not like a lighten, but just even out your skin tone in a really gentle way. I use this maybe like two times a week. Like I really don't use it that often because I do use other forms of like vitamin C. I don't know how much it costs. I got it in like a gift bag. I think I got it in PR. I really don't know where I got this from, but somehow it landed in my, bra in my bathroom. I think of this as like a primer. This is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. This is Skin Nutrition Face Mist with a vitamin fruit complex. Can you read it? Can you see this? Okay, whatever. But to me, this is like a primer. So what, like my skin is basically stripped. I dried my face. I use paper towels because it really helps. Or use like a clean towel. Just make sure you're using something clean because you could be washing your face and drying your face with a dirty towel. And guess what? That's gonna get in your skin. That's the first layer. That's what's gonna penetrate your skin. Just be aware, just be aware. I'm letting you know. I don't know, I really like it. It's like literally like down to here. I've been obsessed with it. Cause I love a face spray. Like this one, stay ordering from Amazon. This is the Mara Badescu facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. Bro, I love a face spray. Like you know which one I really love to just spray on my face? Like the Morphe um, setting mist? Oh, I love spraying that on my face. I don't know why. Oh, also if you see like weird marks everywhere, <laughs> I just got laser hair removal yesterday and fell asleep way too early on my couch and I forgot like whatever It's just one of those days. Oh, and then I like nicked myself shaving yesterday because I was going too fast I don't know. I'm a mess. Now that my face is nice and sprayed. I like to apply a face serum This is the Lancome Advanced Genifique Concentrate Active Youth Activating Concentrate. Why is it French first? Whatever. Okay, so this is the Youth Activating Concentrate. This is what it looks like. It's iconic. I'm obsessed with it. And basically what I do is, this is really pricey, I'm not gonna lie. It lasts a really long time, but it's actually cheaper than the La Mer face oil, because I own the La Mer face oil. And to me, this works better. Not gonna lie, I love a face serum. I use one every morning and I use one every night. Well, I use this one actually, every morning, every night. Ooh. Why am I so shaky? I just have coffee in my system. <laughs> That's all I have in my system, oh my god. So I put it on these fingers. These two fingers, my ring fingers, I apply here. Oh my god, I'm showing you my morning skincare routine and I'm swearing I'm like a professional. Okay, like just don't judge me, right? Okay. So I don't like to rub on serum a lot, except for my forehead, like my forehead, I don't really care because I like Botox that and like, I'm not really getting wrinkles there. And then like here, I'll put some there. I tend to, apply it on areas and I use light pressure and then anything that's left over I just like rub on the back of my hands and then I just apply it in those areas that tend to get the most wear and tear does that make sense so as you're talking and as you're laughing and as you're going about your day you're moving so you're like starting to crease these like areas here so I'm like oh if I have something that's like helping with that I can like laugh and smile and talk all day and like make like the dumbest faces because I have something that's helping prevent you know what I mean? It's easier to prevent 
than to fix and cheaper just letting you know and i remember watching i think this was on like the tyra banks show remember when tyra banks had like a her own show it was so iconic i like live for it now it's like miss wendy like live for her right please correct me if i'm wrong it's just like this is a distant memory i think it was like a skincare person and they said it's easier to prevent than to or like it's like i think she asked like when is the best time to start using anti-aging stuff and it's like when you're fresh out the womb like I think it was like fresh out the womb or like when you're like 14, 15. So like imagine like hearing as like a little kid, like always take care of your skin because I want to be pretty forever, right? So, well first I want to be pretty, then I want to be pretty forever. I was like, okay, so you should always start using skincare, like anti-aging stuff. So then I've always paid mine like, okay, when I was younger, like five finger disc, I'm like, you know, Okay, so I really like this. So I'm trying to prevent to avoid having to fix later down the line, right? So then I like to use an eye cream. This is the Philosophy Anti-Wrinkle Miracle Worker Lime Correcting Eye Cream. It's just cute. It's nice. I just got this one. Um, I always like an eye cream. I have like four to five eye creams. This is just the most recent one that I've been using and I really actually like it. I'll just tap, 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 tap. Just light pressure. And then whatever you have left, on the back of your hands, girl. On the back of your hands. Make sure you are taking care of the back of your hands. Because that's the part that really gives it away. It's usually the neck, but now like people are getting really good at taking care of the neck. Your hands will tell your age. Another eye cream that I really like, this is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Eye Cream. I'm literally almost out. But I'll use this one like towards the end because I like an extra layer of eye cream. I get Botox and I get filler. The only thing I don't get filler is my under eye because there's just like a lot of questionable under eye filler out there. So if I don't need it yet, I don't need to do it yet. Okay? I use this every morning, every night. This really helps with anti-acne. This is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Balancing Moisturizer with Tamarind Extract and Tea Tree Oil and it's for blemish prone skin. Like, I'm obsessed with this, you guys. And they changed it, oh my God, look, I'm literally out. Do I have another one? So I always <laughs> don't keep a good stock in this because I don't know, I'm an idiot. I'm obsessed with this. It really has changed my skin. Freaking Nikita put me onto this. And then I focus it more so in the center of the face and then I pat some in here. I really like it. It keeps me matte. That's one of the main things. So if you're really oily, girl, this is going to be such an amazing moisturizer. It's going to be such a life-changing moisturizer for you. Like, I'm just letting you know. No, I think it's just the tamarind extract and tea tree oil that helps with blemish. Like, tea tree oil gently balances and soothes the skin. And then, oh, see, look, it has, like, a thing. Like, see, it's so small, but it has all the right information. Tamarind extract, a gentle astringent to help exfoliate and brighten the skin. African black soap in it clarifies oily, blemish-prone skin. So I like this area to remain kind of more so matte. So I like that this is a very mattifying moisturizer. And I keep it here because I get more oily in my T-zone. Like my nose and like my forehead right here and like my eyelids. Literally this T right here. Like this T right here, and then just down the nose, and then here. My go-to go-to. Yeah, like this is my go-to go-to. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness for Redness Sensitive Skin Skin Relief Treatment Moisturizer. It's an amazing moisturizer. It literally moisturizes your skin. It's amazing, especially if you have a lot of redness. It's really gonna help with balancing and just helping your skin be hydrated. Another one that I've been using, this it kinda, I guess it goes with this. It came in like a package. I had the nighttime one and I really have been liking it. I've been using it now for like a couple of weeks. I think I'm at like the three week mark and I've been liking how my skin's been reacting to it. So this is the daytime one. This is the Philosophy Anti-Wrinkle Miracle Worker. Create this miracles well, line correcting moisturizer, right? So this is my go-to that I use on a daily basis when it comes to just hydration. I really like it. Now I'm incorporating this one into it. They're very hydrating, both of them, but this one like helps with like wrinkles, right? So I'm just using it to see if at the end, I really like and recommend it. So right now, I'm happy with how my skin's reacting to it. Does that make sense? So at the end, once I'm done with the bottle, I wanna see if it helped remove fine lines and wrinkles because this video is not sponsored by nobody in the skincare. Do I receive some skincare for free? Absolutely. But that face moisturizer still doesn't get my like stamp of approval. My skin's not overreacting to it. It's not like breaking out. It's really 
good if you have like sensitive skin. I like how like certain areas are starting to look, but I want to see at the end if it has the claims that it says it has because I want to like test more skincare. I grabbed some moisturizer. Actually, I put it all over my hands and then I just... When you apply moisturizer on your neck, make sure you are moving upwards because if you pull down, it's pulling down. And regardless of how moisturized your skin is and what you apply to it, you don't want a loose neck. You want it to be tight. So when I get like compliments on my jawline, I can finesse a good jawline. Like, ooh, ooh. But normally I have like just a regular neck. Like I have this little moment where I have to like finesse like the right angle to make sure that I get like a sharp jawline. So I like just to apply a hydrating face cream. Oh my God, you know what I never really noticed on skincare is like the shelf life. Like a face moisturizer has like a 12 month shelf life. This one has 15 months. It has an anti-wrinkle stuff. Eye cream has a, oh, this one's 15 months. What about the other one? This one is, oh, this one's six months. Oh, see, that's fascinating. 12 months a year, 12 months, 24 months. Dang, I can have this for two years and it won't expire. Oh, let's just spray them. Why does it last so long, actually? <laughs> I'm gonna spray this one. Okay, face spray on, okay. I probably shouldn't have sprayed that face spray because usually what I like to do is I like to give my moisturizer just time to really work itself into the skin, kind of marinate and melt into the skin because I'm gonna put sunscreen on. So if you want more eye cream, apply it now. I feel like sunscreen is like the final step, kind of like almost like you're setting the face to, and to be prepared to go into the world. If you're not using sunscreen, that's on you. Like that's on you, girl. Because on days that I'm like, I forgot to put on my sunscreen. Oh girl, I regretted it. Like I always used to use sunscreen religiously, but like I've been really slacking on it. I don't know what I watch, but they were like, make sure you're using your sunscreen. I'm like, oh God, you're so right. So that's my final step, right? Yeah, this is my final step. So I just apply a light layer. And then back of your hands. This is the Neutrogena Clear Face Breakout Free Liquid Lotion Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 55 Helioplex Broad Spectrum UVA UVB Won't Cause Breakouts Ultra Light Oil Free Water Resistant Up to 80 Minutes Number One Dermatologist Recommended Sun Care. I am obsessed with this. I am obsessed with it. Nikita put me onto this one because I was like wanting this. I remember like I really took sunscreen a lot more seriously when I came to LA. I feel like in Houston, I wasn't out in the sun a lot. I mean, I'm not really out in the sun a lot, just in general. But I do love a sunscreen that I can apply every day and it doesn't feel like I'm applying sunscreen. Does that make sense? Like, I don't want it to like clog up my pores. I don't want that, like that gray cast. I don't want it to look greasy because you know how like sunscreen on your face can look like real greasy if you just have a regular sunscreen. So this also helps with not breaking you out and it's oil free and it's ultra light. Totally agree with the ultra light. Like I don't feel it like when I apply it on and like I don't feel like it creates a great cast. Like I don't feel like it lightens my skin. Like I don't feel like I'm wearing something white on my face. Yeah, I really like this sunscreen. It's super easy. Please apply your sunscreen. I'm trying to practice what I preach too, okay? I'm just letting you know. Like, I know I slip on it, so. But just make sure that you are trying to put on sunscreen. I feel like that's like a reminder to myself. Oh my God, is that it? Yeah. And then basically I would just like brush my teeth. Oh my God, that's it. Yes. Okay, this is the end of the video, guys. My skin is ready. My skin is ready to go out into the world. I have my anti-aging, I have my under eye cream, I have my moisturizer on, and I have my sunscreen on. I'm ready to take on the world. I wanna make sure that when I leave my bathroom, my skin is ready to take on the world. It is nice and it's prepped and it's fresh. This is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much. If you have any suggestions on skincare products or if you think I should kind of switch steps, I'm totally down. Like, I don't feel like my skincare routine is perfect. I still have some work to do. So, I'm always down. Also, if you like have certain skincare products that you're obsessed with, please like leave them down below. Like, or if you there's certain skincare products that you want me to try, leave them down below as well. I love skincare. Like, I love skincare. I'm obsessed with skincare. I have way too much skincare. I have like hella skincare. Like, I love 
skincare. So if you want to see more skincare, let me know down below. If you like this video and you like kind of more skincare stuff on my channel, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and you hit that notification bell to be notified exactly when I upload a new video. Until next time, bye everyone! Bye everyone! I can go back to sleep.